Is it really worth it to pay a full realtor commission when you're selling your house? Or shouldn't you just hire a flat fee broker or a flat fee service? Well, we get this question a lot. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I've worked with lots of sellers that ended up hiring us after interviewing flat fee brokers and flat fee listing services. There's lots of differences that you need to pay attention to, and here's some of those. So first off, let's cover just normal full service agents that are willing to discount their commission right off the bat. Let's talk about this because um, I've met with lots of sellers over the years who might have said, hey, well, you know, Joe Realtor from down the street said he would do it for, you know, 1% or 2% lower than you're offering. Okay, great. Well, my first question is, what is Joe Realtor's history, track record, and marketing plan. Oftentimes, Joe Realtor hasn't even described any of that to the seller. So be sure you know what you're paying for and what you're actually getting because we understand the economics of the real estate agent side of things. And a lot of sellers think, wow, Realtor making 3% on a sale, that's a whole lot of money. Well, yes, we do also then split that with a brokerage. We pay our overhead, our staff, our marketing, and we pay taxes on that before we ever see a dime of that. So it's not like realtors are just cashing 3% checks at every closing and living on that, just so you know. Something to consider is if Joe Realtor is offering right off the bat to discount their commission, that tells me that they're not that confident in the marketing value they're bringing to sell your house. Okay, if they really valued their service, they would say, here's my entire plan and where I'm gonna bring value and here's what I earn in that process and I can stand behind that with a guarantee that you're gonna get what you need in the sale seller. So if the first thing out of an agent's mouth is, all right, yeah, well, I'll do it for less than the next person. Well, then that's really saying their top value add is their commission. There's really no other value add or unique value proposition in their marketing plan or the way they're gonna get you more offers or a higher price on the market. And another thing to consider, I, I say this, it sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. If Joe Realtor right off the bat is willing to negotiate his or her money that he feeds his family with, how hard do you think he's going to work to negotiate for your money? Fair question, right? So he's obviously already shown you his negotiating skills when negotiating for his unique value. So when you get into a negotiation with a buyer, how hard do you think he's really going to work for your money? All right, now let's talk about flat fee listing services. These would be things like Redfin. I know there are some local companies that do, hey, we do a flat fee or a flat percentage that's lower than a lot of agents are offering. Again, I ask just for the track record and what is in their plan and how much are they getting their sellers on average? Now, we at the Mullenberg team are more of a full service team. I may be uh, charging more commission than some flat fee brokerages, right? But we are netting our sellers more. So that's really the, the whole key, isn't it? If you're going to sell your house, you don't necessarily need to care about the price or the commission or the closing costs. It's what's going to net you the most at the end of the day. So what's going to put the most in your pocket at the end of the sale? And we at the Mullenberg team have been outpacing the MLS by about three and a half percent. And that's outpacing flat fee brokerages as well. So if you could save one or two percent hiring a flat fee or a discount broker, why not make three and a half percent more in your sale and in your net by hiring a full service team with lots of different value adds and unique selling propositions in the marketing plan. So pay attention not just to the price tag on the commission, but what you're actually going to net, and uh, that'll get you to where you need to go. The third category sellers ask us about is uh, home buying programs, right? These companies that send you letters in the mail or call you up and say, hey, we're willing to make you a cash offer for your house right now. No commissions, no closing costs. It starts to sound pretty darn good, right? Well, heck, if I can save on all realtor commissions, have a low hassle sale right here, isn't this a good thing? Well, it just depends on your goals. If you need a really fast sale, you like the idea of cash, and you're willing to potentially take a lower net, then sure, consider the home buying companies. You know, these are things like Redfin, and I know Zillow has shut down their home buying department, Orchard, other companies like this. I can tell you from experience, I've worked with a lot of clients who started down the path with these home buying companies, and realized that once the numbers really hit the road, that company started adding fees and said, well, it, the home needs fix up, so we're gonna add you know, 4% of cost here. And by the time they dwindled it all down, 
we realized, well, they could actually net more on the open market, even paying realtor commissions. So let's at least run a side-by-side -side scenario. If you're thinking about the home buying companies route, let us at least come in and run a, a realistic analysis. And I'll be honest with you at all times, side-by-side, -side, if you can make more money with the home buying company or a flat fee service, by absolute means, go for it. I mean, I would uh, support a seller all day long if they can reach their goal and even net more than I can get them. So uh, let's at least explore all the options so you know fully, transparently, where all the numbers are at and what you can net from the sale. And my final thought, if you are a seller, you know, considering different scenarios, full service realtor, discount, home buying company, is let us run the numbers with you on our guaranteed net program. I've been doing this for years and it's exactly why I developed the guaranteed net program because I get it, sellers wanna know what they can really walk away with from the sale. And every scenario is different, so we need to run the numbers on your home and your situation. I have put my money where my mouth is and said, all right, if I can't net you more than, say, you can with the discount broker or the home selling company, then I will flex my commission down to ensure that I'm right there on par with other quotes you're getting. So this is really the risk-free approach because you can sign up with a full service team like ours, make three and a half to 4% more money on the market. So you get the potential upside of everything that our marketing program brings you. And then as a worst case scenario, our guaranteed net program makes sure that you walk away from the sale with what we agree together is your bottom line number. So reach out to us, no pressure. We're not a high pressure sales team. We'd love to just run these numbers and scenarios because everybody's situation is different. We've probably got a program that works for you. And with the guaranteed net, we're putting our money tied right to your money there and making your goal our goal. So that's the only way we win is if you win.